All right. Now we're doing 7Q, Season 2, Last Digits of a Number. This is by Johnny Boy, and 91% of the people like it. So our job is to implement a function which returns the last D digits of an integer in as a list. Uh, the special case is if D is greater than the number of digits of in, we're going to return all the digits. If uh, D is less than or equal to zero, we're going to return an empty list or an empty array. All right, so this one, the number is one. The digits that need to be returned is one, so it's one. That doesn't really explain much. Uh, this one is one, two, three is the number. Uh, we're, what is it? We're returning the last two in an array like this. So three and four are going to go in here. And we've got this number, six. It's the same uh, because there's six digits here, six digits here. All right, so first things first, we've got a number right here. We're going to need to turn that into a string. But first things first things first, we're going to say uh, const last digit equals in comma D. And then we're going to have this turn into an arrow function like that. So we're going to say console.log right here so we can test as we go and start right here. All right. So like I said, we're going to need to change this in into a string because right now if we do type of in, test it, we've got a number, right? So we need to turn it into a string. And if you don't know about the type of, it's right here on this page. You can just read all about it all you want. Uh, and then here, I'll even do this. You can push pause. Push pause. No. <laughs> That's the last time I'll do that. Uh, so type of in, it's a number. So first we need to turn this into a string. So let's say type of plus a empty string. Let's see if this works. Number. Nope. So we got to wrap this in parentheses like thus. Test it out again. And we got a string right there. All right. So now we want to put this string into an array so we can uh, manipulate it. So first let's uh, get rid of this type of, let's throw it into an array like this. Let's wrap it up like this and let's do that. Uh, we can get rid of the, oops, we can get rid of the uh, parentheses while we're at it. All right, so now let's test that out. What's that look like? So one, one, two, three, four. So these are all in uh, arrays right now. Let's, let's get rid of these ones and get this big number right here because it's a little, these ones are a little weak, not going to lie. Let's test it out. Okay, so now we've got all these numbers in one in the array as a string, but we need it to equal this right here. So what we need to do is somehow get the D digits off. So in this case, it's 10 and you see five, six. So five, six right here, here's the 10 digits. Uh, First things first, I want to turn these into an, I want to, I want to get these into their own, uh, what's the word called? Elements. So we're going to use spread syntax on this. Uh, and then here it is, if you want to read about it. And for spread syntax, we're going to say dot, 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 right in front of the uh, in right there. Let's test that out. And now you see every single one of these digits is in its own array. All right. But you also see uh, the quotation marks around it mean them their string. So we're just going to use the map method, dot map. If you don't know about the map method, it's right here. You can check it out. Uh, and we're going to say E, arrow function, plus E, using the unary plus right here. Okay? And so that's going to turn all these into numeral digits, into numbers. We can say, we can even go in here and say type of, like that, test it out. And each one of these is a number, all right? So let's get rid of that, look at it again. All right, so now we got to cut off these ones and leave only these ones here, right? So to do that, what we're going to use is the splice method, which is right here if you want to check it out. Uh, and we're going to say dot splice, and we're going to start at negative six. So we're going to start at one, two, three, excuse me, negative, not six, negative N, negative D, I should say. We're going to start at negative D, which is, in this case, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right? And then we're going to return the next, 10, the next D after it. So it's going to return all these, okay? And so let's test that out to see if I'm telling you the, sh the truth. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get rid of this console.log. Test it out. There we go. And attempt it. All right. And submit it. So there we go. We've got that. Uh, here we've got VictorLev01 is doing the string in, turning it into a string right here, and then splitting it using the split method instead of the, uh, well, whatever we did, the uh, array literal way. Uh, and then doing map and doing number instead of the uh, E equals plus uh, E, or E arrow plus E. But it's all the same. This is just making, this is doing exactly what we did at the front part. And then it's having a nums.length and then index equals zero. And we've got this weird thing right here, this nums.filter uh, element equal, it's, excuse me, element arrow function. And then for, uh, while the index is greater than or equal to length minus D. That's so hard to understand. If I had a picture, I would, but I'm, I know it works. I'm sure it works because look how clever it is. I think I'm gonna say it's clever too. How about that? Uh, although I would love to, if we could just make a video of that. Anyway, never mind. Uh, so here's this and they're turning it into a string, splitting it, doing the splice method and then turning it into a number afterwards. So basically what we did, but in a different order, all right? And then let's say clever here. Uh, let's go over here and we're gonna say, uh, so this turns this into a string also, never used that way before. And then they're turning it into a number. So they're doing what we did, and then except for with this instead of the uh, quotes, instead of the empty string, and then doing this number. And then they're saying, R dot slice, and so they're going to slice it from either R dot, pardon me, if D is greater than R dot length, they're going to slice it from zero, but if not, they'll slice, slice it from R dot length minus D. So that's clever too. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go look at mine. Just me on this one, best practice in my opinion. Very much like it, and we'll see you next time.